For this video, what I will be showing is the linking between Outlook and OneNote. A lot of my students have asked me questions like, is it possible for me to put in reminders in OneNote so that OneNote can flag me when something is coming up? So I want to change the way you approach OneNote in that think of OneNote as a note taking tool. So all my notes, everything I archive lives in OneNote in one of these sections on one of these pages. So I've got the sections up there. I've got two sections right now, quarter one and quarter two, and then I've got the pages down here. Everything is all notes, notes, notes. This is where I archive everything. Why am I doing it this way? Because I can search for an Excel file. I can search for pictures. I can search for um, audio recordings. Um, one thing about OneNote as well is that it indexes audios so that I can search for certain uh, text within an audio file. So all this is all notes, notes, notes. Now the question is how do I link it to the tool that I already have right now, in my case, Outlook. How do I link it to Outlook so that I get reminders from Outlook? So as you notice, I get notifications from Outlook. Uh, something just came up. Uh, you have a meeting coming up and so forth. You have a task that is overdue. All those little things. How do I then link OneNote to Outlook. So let me show you that. So if I go to, let's say, I'll just go to the OneNote. Let's go to the Outlook. I'll go to the Outlook page here. So notice the page names that I have here are the same as what I have there. In case you're wondering, how do you insert a page? My favorite, as opposed to this guy here, add a page. I always add page templates. These are all the recently used templates that I have. Um, I'll go for maybe just a random one here. Uh, let's go prioritized to-do list. So I can click that and then it gives me a template which gives me to some degree a bit of a form as to where I will be typing out my high priority list, my medium priority list and so forth. But what I'll show you is in Outlook if I had this. So there's my Outlook page and I am going to link this to Outlook. Do I have any meetings in Outlook that I want to bring in here? Do I have any attendees in that meeting? So when we do meet on the day we meet, I want to take notes using OneNote. So if you click meeting details right there, this shows you the meetings that you have today. So right now I've got an Excel course scheduled for that time. If I click choose meeting from another day, I can then click. Do I have a meeting tomorrow? Do I have a meeting the day after? Yep, this is the meeting that I am concerned about. So in this case, notice how it's linking all my Outlook meetings. It doesn't have to be today's meeting. It could be sometime in the future. So I am going to click insert details. Where am I inserting these details? I'm inserting the details into OneNote. Wait for it, give it a second, and there we go. So I've got the meeting details, and this is everything from that meeting. For the meeting details, I have a picture. I have an image that's there. We're going to be discussing that. So these are the attendees, the participants that I have. I've got Tabani, I've got uh, Carol, I've got Tabani again and Tabani again. I just use a, um, a couple of different addresses that I have there. I can check this box to say, yep, on the day we actually met, uh, these people were in attendance, right? So this is how you link your meeting notes to OneNote. So I'm just going to go to a separate page here. So in my meeting, this uh, is what we discussed. So I might type out uh, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Okay, there we go. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So this being a sentence right there, the quick brown fox jumping over the lazy dog, I'm going to assume I need to check and follow up on this thing because I don't believe it was the dog that was lazy. I think it was the cat that was lazy. So what I will do is now, as opposed to what I did before, I grab something from Outlook and put it into OneNote. Now I want to take something in OneNote and link it to Outlook. So I'm going to make this a task because anything I know, there's always a, a light bulb moment that goes off in my mind. Anytime I have to follow up on something, 
that is going to be done in the Outlook area. I'm going to convert that something that I need to follow up on and make it a task. What is the definition of a task? Something that has a duration to it. So it has a start, it has a completion, it is a task. How do I make this quick brown fox a task? So I'm just going to go up there and I've got my quick brown fox selected, Outlook task, and then I'm going to say, well, I need to follow up on this guy tomorrow. So I'll click that. Now, in essence, what I've done is I've made this an Outlook task. So when I click Outlook, if you notice, this is no longer grayed out like it was before. Now I can open this task in Outlook. And just an FYI, I'm going to do this one more time. The prerequisite, so I'm just going to type out a, bu a bunch of gibberish there. The prerequisite to this being a task is that you have to mark it as a task, and then this guy is no longer grayed out. So right now, it is grayed out because this that is, is highlighted is not a task. So I'll go back to this one, the quick brown fox, go there and open task in Outlook. Now I can open the task in Outlook, wait for it, Outlook opens up and there's my Outlook. It opened up there, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy, ta uh, la lazy dog, it is a task. Where is that task? That task lives somewhere here in OneNote on my C drive. Um, it is stored somewhere in there. So if someone wanted to make reference to this, they can click that link. And especially if this is a shared location within a company uh, network, you totally can share uh, tasks and all that. Nonetheless, I can also assign tasks. So the moment I assign task, I can assign this to someone else. I'm like, nah, no, maybe let's just cancel the assignment. I don't want to assign the task. I don't want anyone else to be checking on whether it was the dog that was lazy or the cat. I will do that myself. So at this point, this then opens up a new world for me where I can then set a reminder for this task, right? So I know when I want the reminder. So the moment I do that, I want it on this date. At this time, I have a reminder. So at this point, look at what I've done with OneNote. OneNote was not able to give me necessarily a reminder or a ping to tell me, hey, something is coming up. Um, what I got from this is the reminder in Outlook because Outlook is that one tool that allows me to get the reminders, right? So OneNote is my note-taking tool. Outlook, that's where all my reminders, my communication and all that stuff happens. All right, so more in the next video. Just wanted to make sure you are aware of how can you harness the power of Outlook and use that in conjunction with OneNote. So there it is. See you in the next video.